Hi everybody and welcome to Chair Yoga TV. I'm so happy to be here with you today. My name is Claire and welcome. Thank you for joining. Thank you for coming along to practice with me. I really appreciate you. Today we're going to be working on a revolved chair pose and also finishing off with a beautiful grounding and calming tree pose. So we'll be leaving the practice feeling well grounded and supported. So if you like the video, don't forget to press the little thumbs up button and um, also subscribe to the channel. Turn on the little bell so you get the notifications when I post new videos. And uh, that's it, let's get started. Let's talk more chair yoga. Here we go. So we're going to start everybody, we're going to start in sitting mountain position. So we come a little bit towards the front of the chair and here comes Moe to say hello to you as well. And just bringing your feet forward a little, setting them up in line with your hips, middle toes point forward and the spine nice and tall. And we're going to roll the shoulders up and back and down. And if you want to, you can do that a few times. And then letting the hand rest on the lap down if you'd like to or up if it's more comfortable and if you feel like it, close your eyes. And just start to bring your awareness within. Maybe taking your awareness to your breath and noticing where the breath is today. If you feel your breath in the shoulders or the upper chest. Perhaps you'd like to try to bring your breath down into the belly a little bit more. And you can do that with awareness or maybe putting your hands onto your belly. Breathing into your hands. As you inhale, the hands might move apart a little bit. As you exhale, they might come in closer together. Not forcing the breath, but just letting it flow naturally in and out. And we can bring the breath into the lower lobes we can to help to calm the mind. And also make sure we're getting enough blood flow, enough oxygen around to all the organs, to the whole body. We'll take one more breath into the belly. If your hands are on your body, you can bring your hands off onto your lap. Take another breath there. And when you feel ready to, you can let the eyes open in table clothes and pressing your feet down a little bit into the floor just to get a bit of um, strength through the lower body for support. And uh, we'll start to move the arms and you're welcome to keep your elbows as bent as you like, just floating on the inhale, the arms up to shoulder height. And on the exhale, letting the hands float down again. Imagine your elbows going out and up as you lift the arms and exhale. And not taking them above your shoulder height, but just keeping them in line with the shoulders or maybe a little bit lower. Inhaling again, floating up like angel wings. <laughs> and one more time. And out. And then letting your shoulders roll up and back and down and you can let the arms float around with the shoulders this time, adding that little bit of extra weight onto the shoulders, building up some strength as well, the weight of the arms. And also moving forward now, going over and around, keeping the shoulders relaxed as you move, even though they're working a little bit, we still keep ourselves from over tensing up the shoulder area and then coming back and turning the palms upwards, the um, hands face ceiling. On your inhale breath, let the hands move out towards the sides and on your exhale breath, they can come in and cross over each other and on your inhale breath, opening out to the side and on your exhale, crossing over and again, just flowing with your breath. When you get out this time, if you'd like to, you can let your arms move outwards towards the side wall and then exhale, bring the elbows into the sides of the body. So inhaling, they can go outwards and exhaling, coming in. And again, inhaling and exhaling. 
exhaling. And then from there, tucking the thumb underneath all the fingers and circling the wrists. And you're welcome to keep your hands as close to you as you like. You might even like to let them float up above your head if that feels okay for you today. And then changing direction to bring your hands down the side. We'll go up again through the middle. Breathing in. And changing direction again as you come down the side. And then interlacing your fingers and making a little figure eight shape with the hands. A little movement for the wrists. And then keeping that interlace, turn your palms forward, stretch through the fingers, relax through the shoulders though, and relax through the upper back. So it's a little bit more about the hands than about the, the upper back and the shoulders. Take one more breath like this. And exhale and let the hands come back and down. Maybe wiggle the fingers, maybe some spirit fingers if you want to. And then starting with that inhale breath again to lift the arms to shoulder height. Then turn your palms over and maybe bring your hands together in front of your face or up somewhere, wherever is comfortable for you today. And then exhale, bring the hands halfway down. And inhale, bring the hands together, wherever that is for you. And then exhale, bring the hands down. And inhale to bring your hands together. And one more time, exhaling, coming down. And inhaling, bringing your hands together. And as you exhale this time, bring your hands down through your heart center. You can place your hands onto your thighs and take a breath in to grow tall. As you exhale, hinge forward from your hips, a little forward fold. And your inhale breath, send your heart forward and up as your shoulder blades come towards each other. And then on your exhale breath, the tailbone goes under, shift the body backwards, keep your feet on the ground. And on your inhale breath, rock forward on your sit bones and let the sternum lift forward and up. And then your exhale breath, tailbone moves under and leaning back in your chair and then inhaling, coming forward. You're lengthening through the back of the spine. You can round like a cat if it's comfortable on your spine or just keep the spine long if that feels better. Inhaling forward and exhaling back. Coming back into the middle again, sitting nice and tall. Take a breath in. When you exhale, turn your ribs around towards the right now, twisting through the core, twist through the ribs and bring yourself back to centre on your inhale breath. Sliding your hand up your leg might feel nice here as well as you turn to the left. And then coming back on the inhale, going side to side, exhaling. As you twist and inhaling as you come back. And exhaling as you twist. Inhaling back. And one more, keeping the spine nice and tall. Coming back and the last one. Back to the centre again and from here take a breath in and let your arms gently move out to the side of you. Lift your chest up a little bit and as you exhale let the back of the palms come together and drop the head if that feels comfortable for you. Inhale, open the arms out nice and wide and on your exhale breath turn the palms back to back, drop the head if that feels nice and then inhale one more time. Exhale, gently letting the hands come down towards the lap again. Maybe this time they'll slide back to the hips and we'll take a breath in to grow tall. And then leaning up and over towards the right as you exhale, a little side bend and then coming back to the centre and up and over towards the left as you exhale, inhaling centre, exhaling to the right. And again. Gently moving side to side. Beautiful spinal movement, lateral flexion of the spine, lateral movement of the spine. And then coming back into the center again. And from here, taking your hands to your thighs and on your inhale breath, lifting your right heel away from the ground and lowering it down and then lifting the left heel away from the ground, lowering that down and then lifting the right heel and the left heel 
Now, you're welcome to keep your feet connected to the floor and continue doing this movement side to side. Or if you'd like to press down a little more into that left leg, let your right leg float up off the ground and come down. You're most welcome. And then the left one, a bit like chair walking. And if you feel like it, actually, you could add the opposite arm and leg and actually go for a little stroll. And down, lifting up. And if you can, place your foot down, heel, toe. Lifting up. And down. Do one more on each side. One more, and coming down. And then from there, let your knees gently move from one side to the other, taking the sides, going onto the sides of your feet as you move your legs, keeping the torso fairly still in the middle, mostly moving the leg bone and the hip joint. Nice work. And coming back into the center and lifting off the balls of the feet from the ground and tapping your feet toes down a few times onto the floor. Nice one for the shins, maybe a little stretch through the back of the legs as well. And then letting the feet rest down onto the floor. And from here, you can keep your legs uh, bent if you like, or we'll take them out in front if that feels okay. Move them apart a little bit so you can drop your toes in towards each other. And then you can hold the chair if you need to, or have your hands wherever it's comfortable. And just taking the toes in and the toes out, it's rolling the leg bone in the hip joint. Warming up that space for the lower back as well, and the hips here. And then slowly we will bring our feet back into sitting mountain and take a breath here. And then from here we can take the legs out a little bit further apart to be comfortable on the seat, taking a breath in. And as you exhale, come forward a little bit over the legs. So we've got a nice long spine. You can let your left forearm come down to your thigh or the hand, whatever's more comfortable there. And then we're going to turn the ribs back towards the right. So a little twist back to the right. And the right hand might come to the hip or the shoulder. Or it might like to go outwards towards the right to see what feels comfortable. Whatever version feels nice for you. Pressing down into your feet and keeping the spine nice and long. And we'll turn the torso on the next inhale towards the front and perhaps that arm will float over now again you might have it on your hip shoulder or maybe over so just see what feels comfortable there again and maybe push down through that left arm so that the shoulder and the ear move away from each other and there's lots of length in the spine next time you inhale coming up from there and on your exhale breath, just hinging forward again from the hips until your right forearm or your hand finds the leg. And then inhale and open up those left ribs, maybe the hand on the hip or the shoulder or out towards the side. One more breath here. And then the inhale breath is where we turn to the front and we take the side bend over towards the right now. And feeling the breath going into the left side of the body there. Next time your inhale comes, you can come up from there. And on your exhale, come forward again over those legs, both forearms to the sides or hands, again if that's more comfortable. And perhaps just pull back with your arms, feel the length in your spine, take a couple of breaths here. If you feel comfortable, you could bring your palms together in the center. And you might even take your elbows onto the inner edges of your thighs if that feels nice. Optional, remember, you don't have to do all the options, you do whatever feels comfortable for you. No right or wrong. All right, the next time that you inhale, press through your feet and start to come up. You might like to let your arms float up towards the sky and then come out and down as you exhale. And then bringing your feet all the way into the center, taking them so that they're, they're touching or going in that direction. 
and maybe the big toes in touch and the heels are slightly separated. So taking a breath in, pressing into the feet and then coming forward over the legs just a little bit. So it's a bit more like a, um, what, maybe 45 degree angle on the body. And then we can take the hands off the legs and start to stretch them forward or maybe they go upwards, but keep the shoulders relaxed as you do that and keep the head in line with the spine. Sometimes we want to like stick the head up or sag it down. So keep the head for just neutral. Keep lots of space between your shoulders and ears. The arms can be slightly bent. They can be closer to you. They can be anywhere that feels good. Really press through the heels, almost like you want to stand up off the chair. And taking another breath now. Use your exhale breath to gently come forward. You can make more space if you want to with your legs and bring your torso down towards your thighs. You can let your hands float down your legs if you want to and take a breath into the back of the body. Now on your inhale breath, slide your hands up your legs, come up to where the knees are and lengthen your spine a little and then exhale, come down and then inhale, come all the way up to seated. Letting the hands come back through the heart center. And once again, bringing your feet in towards each other and taking a breath in, bring the hands to the heart if you'd like to. We're gonna come forward a little bit over the legs and we'll take a rotation now. So a little twist and you might just hover in the air or you might find your right elbow touches onto the inner left thigh. You might stay there or maybe the right elbow will go across to the, I'm sorry, the left elbow might go across to the outer right thigh. Or you might even let your right, your left arm go down and the right arm go back. So there's so many options. So just pick whatever um, feels best for you for the class. Taking another breath here. And then if your arms are spread apart, bring them back together. Tend the torso forward. Allow yourself to sit up. Maybe let the arms reach up slowly towards the sky and then open out on that exhale breath again. Bringing them back to the heart center. Tall breath in. Exhale to hinge forward first with that long spine. So lots of length through the spine as we twist. And then we can twist towards the left and maybe the elbow will hook on the inner right thigh or the outer left thigh, or maybe the left arm, the right arm will go down towards the floor and the left arm could be even on the shoulder or back. Open out. Once again, whatever feels good, whatever seems like the right thing to do today. One more breath here. And you can bring your hands back together and turn the torso back to the front, pressing up, let the arms reach up towards the sky and exhale to let the hands gently float down. Nice, and then walking the feet out, hips distance apart. We'll take a breath here in sitting mountain, coming back to the center again. And from here, bringing your hands to your hips or maybe to the lower back and letting the shoulders roll back and down. And if it feels comfortable, you could even open your hands and stretch them down towards the, the floor behind you and almost like you're moving your arms, your hands back behind you. And you can gaze up to where the ceiling and the wall meet, just slightly lifting the chin, but not too much. We don't want to drop the head all the way back. Keep pressing down and forward through your feet as well. And taking a breath into the front of the body there. And out. And take one more breath in. Releasing through the upper body, relaxing through the hands to the lap and take another breath here. Rebounding. And we'll do another back bend. You can do exactly the same again, or maybe you like to even interlace your fingers behind your back if you feel comfortable to do so. So either hands on the hips or maybe the lower back, maybe stretching down or maybe interlacing behind your back. Roll the shoulders back and down and let the sternum lift up, press through the feet. And if you're interlacing the hands or they're stretched down, you might like to take your hands back a little bit behind you 
You might lift up the lower back if it needs a lift. Taking one more breath now. Releasing through the upper back, coming to sit into sitting mountain again for a breath. And then you're welcome to keep your left leg as it is and take the right leg so the knee falls out onto the outer edge of the foot. Maybe bring it in a little closer if that feels good. Keep your right leg, your left leg where it is. You might like to cross at the ankle or some people might like to take their foot up onto the thigh. So again, it's gonna be whatever option feels the best for you. Today, I think actually crossing at the ankle is good for me. So that's what I'm gonna do, but you choose whatever you need to do for you. And then we can bring our hands to our heart centre. I'm going to just take a moment here. You can close your eyes if you like, or you might like to let your gaze soften into some focus something on something in the distance. Let the eyes be soft. Imagine your bottom foot like the roots of a tree going down into the earth. The crown of the head like the top of the tree reaching up for the sun in the sky. In the centre of your tree, tall and sturdy like the trunk of a tree. And another couple of breaths here. Just breathing, just being. And when you feel ready, you can gently let the hands come down and carefully take the leg off, take it back to sitting mountain. And then keeping that right one down, we'll do the same on the other side, but it might be a different position because you might feel like you need something different. So remember the options of crossing at the ankle or on the thigh. Once again, I'm gonna stay at the ankle, but you do what you need to do. And we'll have our hands at our heart center Relax through the shoulders, the face, and soften the eyes. Maybe they close, maybe they stay open slightly. Coming back to that sensation of being connected to the earth, ground, and to connect to the sky above, the sturdy within, the breath flowing like the sap of a tree circulating around inside that beautiful life, life force within. Let's take another few breaths here, just breathing and being. And when you feel ready to, you can open your eyes and gently let your hands Come down, you can take that leg off from wherever it is back to sitting mountain again. And you might like to keep your legs bent now for this one, or maybe you'd like to stretch the legs out in front if that feels comfortable. If you stretch your legs out, have a little bend in your knee and pull the toes back, press the heels into the ground. Take a breath in to grow tall through the spine and as you exhale, coming forward gently. You can let your hands stay on your thighs or they might slide somewhere down your legs, whatever feels comfortable for you. Just keeping lots of space though at the front of the spine because if we crush in and backwards, we're not going to be able to breathe very well. Think about going long, forwards and then down if you want to drop your head. Coming the breath into the back of the body. Enjoying that moment of calm and peace. Taking another round of breath here. Use your inhale breath to lift the spine up a little and bring yourself back up into sitting mountain again. Walk your feet back, so take your time to get there. And take a breath here. And taking your feet out a little bit wider again and just taking yourself into a forward fold again. So breathing in tall and exhaling to come forward and you might turn your palms up 
forearms to the sides again, or maybe slide your hands down the outer edges of your legs somewhere. Again, if you want to drop your head, it's okay, but just check in that you have no tension, no pressure in your head or chest, but if you do, lift your head back up again, lift your chest up so that you have your head above your heart. Breath into the back of the body. Taking one more round of breath now. Use your next inhale breath to slowly come up. You can use your hands and your legs. Take as many breaths as you like, always after those ones, especially if you take your head down. And then from here, just dropping your knees in towards each other, just letting the feet be out wide, taking just a couple of breaths here, just a little counter pose for what we just did. Also give the lower back a chance to release the outer side, hips. And then bringing your feet back to sitting mountain, and you can stay here tall if you like, or if you feel like sitting back in the chair now a little bit, you can sit back into the chair and let your upper back maybe rest on the chair or whatever part's touching the chair. Relax your shoulders down. Maybe walk your feet out in front and turn your palms up on the lap, or if you feel like you can let them hang down by your side. Just taking a moment now to rest, so close the eyes down if that feels comfortable for you. See if you can find that exhalation breath which brings about that softening aspect. And every breath out, letting go of all the muscles and joints, letting them all relax. Let the face soften. And the mind, if any thoughts pop in, they can just simply float away again, give them full permission to move right along. Nothing to do now for a moment, but just be and just breathe and rest. Every breath softening you more and more, allowing you to float further to relaxation. Just enjoying this time, this moment of stillness. And quiet where there's nothing to do but just rest. I'll let you know when it's time to come back. Just stay here for another moment. Just simply being. feels to just be and remember you can come back here whenever you need even if it's for a split second you have full permission to return whenever you need to to just simply be to rest and then when you feel ready to knowing that you can bring your attention back to your breath as you do it might deepen a little bit naturally Following your breath back into your body, becoming aware of your body, muscles, your joints, and when you feel ready, you can wiggle your fingers and your toes. If there's any other movements you'd like to make, maybe it's a stretch or something different, feel free to make those now. Just waking up really gently, and we'll come back into Sitting Mountain to finish off. So take your time to get there. When you do get there, you can bring your hands to your heart center. Just 
perhaps bowing the eyes towards the heart, just acknowledging yourself for coming today, looking after yourself, for nourishing, for supporting yourself, and we'll acknowledge each other also for, for doing the same for each other. Um, thank you so much for being with me, and namaste. Thank you so much for joining me in the practice today. It was beautiful being here with you and I hope that you enjoyed it. Please do let me know how you feel now in the comments below. And also if there's anything that you'd like to see in these videos, I love taking requests because then I can tailor it to everything that you need. Uh, so please let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see in these videos. And also you can share this video with people that you think might enjoy it or get good benefits from it. And also like the video and subscribe to the channel that helps more people see the, see the videos as well. So thank you so much everyone. And for now, I will see you next time on the chair. Have a beautiful rest of your day.